Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I am back with 9th video of Apex Trigger Scenario series. In today's video, we are going to work on another interesting trigger scenario. Let's first understand our today's scenario. In today's scenario, whenever we update an account record, then we have to check all opportunity related to it. And we have to update all opportunity stage name to close lost if an opportunity record is created before 30 days from today. And also, if its current stage name is not equal to closed one. Guys, we cannot edit created date field. Therefore, for testing purpose, I have created this custom field as an alternative for created date field. Now it's time to code. So let's go to VS Code and create our trigger. Name it. Close OPP trigger. Before we start coding, we should understand that on which object we should create this trigger. So according to scenario, we have to check opportunities whenever account gets updated. So it is account object because of which our trigger will be executed. So our trigger will be on account object. So let's write account. Next step is to check which trigger event we have to use here. So in this scenario, we are updating related records. Therefore, we have to use after trigger here with update operation because we want to execute our trigger whenever we update any account record. So let's use after with update. Now we have to fetch ID of account which is getting updated and we will store that ID in a set. For that let's create a set first. New set ID. Here also add a comment that to store account ID which is getting updated. Also we want to execute this trigger only after updation of an account record. So for that we will apply a check like this trigger dot is after and trigger dot is update. Now whatever we will write inside this if condition will be executed only if these two will return true and these two will return true after updation of any account record. Now let's apply a null check over trigger dot new is empty iterate over it trigger dot new and store account id in our set dot add Now we have account ID of those account records which are getting updated. Now we will fetch opportunities using Sokal whose account ID is present in this set. Here the important thing is that we will fetch records using this set. So it is a best practice to apply a null check on this set and do further coding after that. So let's apply a null check is empty. Now this is the main part of our trigger. We have to check opportunities created date. So we must have something to compare it. For that, let's create a variable of date data type. Date dot today minus 30. Basically, this variable is the date which is 30 days less than today. Let's add a comment also. Date which is 30 days less than today. Now let's fetch all related opportunities in a list using circle like this. Select ID, count ID, also copy this name and paste it here. We'll be needing a stage name also from opportunity where count ID is present in our set. Now let's apply a null check over this list is empty and iterate over it.
Now we have related opportunity record of the account which is getting updated. Now we have to check created date and current stage name of this opportunity record. For that, what we will do, we will use if condition and inside this if condition, we will use two checks. First is of this custom field. Copy this variable name and paste it here. And second is stage name. Closed one. Basically, we have used two condition here. First, that if created date is greater than 30 days. And second is, if opportunity stage name is not equal to closed one. And if these two condition will get true, then what we will do? We will update the stage name to close lost. Also, we need to set close date also on which the opportunity get closed. So for that, we will do like this. We will set it to today's date. Now it is a best practice to plugify code. So for that, we will not use update TML operation inside for loop. What we will do, we will create a new list. List opportunity. Name it list to update. Copy this name and add this record inside this list. And after that, apply a null check over this list. It's empty and update it. And deploy this code to our work. So it is successfully deployed. It's time to check that whether our trigger is working fine or not. For that, let's go to account and create an opportunity on it. Name it OPP1. Close date. Stage name. See, this is the field that I have created for testing purpose. Because we cannot edit created date field. And I don't have any old opportunity record. So let's select a date which is before 30 days from today. Let's select 23 November. Let's create one more opportunity. OPP2. Again, select a date which is before 30 days from today. 17 November. Click on save. Now let's update this account. Click on save. And as you can see, stage name of these two opportunities has been updated to close lost, which means our trigger is working fine. That's it for today, guys. If you have any scenario or suggestion for me, then please comment. I'm open to your suggestion. Thank you.